Today we're going to be talking about how to do some molarity practice problems. And this very first problem says, how many liters of solvent? So we know that we do not know my liters of solvent are required to make 2.3 molar solution. So we know that our capital N molar, our molarity is going to be 2.3 using 18.3 moles of solute. So moles of solute. And I know that I'm going to be looking for my liters. Now I have the original equation as molarity is equal to moles of solute over liters of solution. And I know that I have these two and I also know that I am solving for L. L or liters of solvent is going to be in the denominator, which means I need to get it out of the denominator. I'll do that by multiplying both sides by L. That will get it out from over here. But then I will be left with L times capital M liters of solvent times molarity is equal to the moles of solute. And I still want L alone, so I need to get rid of M that is currently messing with it, get rid of molarity, and that will leave me with that my liters of solvent are going to be equal to my moles of solute divided by my whole molarity. So my moles of solute is 18.3 moles, and my molarity is 2.3 molar, which is secretly moles per liter. Now, since I'm on the bottom here, that per liter will flip up to the top. Moles will cancel, leaving me with liters, which is a, an appropriate unit for my liters of solvent. So I'll go ahead and plug that in. So 18.3 divided by 2.3 gives me the number 7.95652173. That's a long gross number. I'm gonna round it to two decimals. One, two, six does make me round up. So I will turn this into 7.96 and that is going to be liters of whatever solvent I am using probably water, maybe something else. Water is the universal solvent, so it's probably water, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, our second example says, what is the molarity? So I know that I am looking for my molarity, my capital M of a solution that contains 43.2 grams of sodium chloride. So I don't actually have my N yet but I do have a mass that I can end up converting into N. Pretend like that looks better. Okay. And then I'm going to have my liters of solvent, which they tell me is water this time, and that's going to be 3.6 liters. And I know that I do not have everything that I need because my initial equation is always going to be my molarity is equal to my moles of solute divided by liters of solvent. And I don't have an N yet. I have a mass though, and mass can be converted into moles. So we're gonna go ahead and set up a quick stoic equation. We're gonna say X moles of sodium chloride is equal to the mass of sodium chloride that we were provided, so 43.2 grams of sodium chloride. I already calculated the molar mass of sodium chloride off to the side, and it is 58.443 grams per mole. So since I need to cancel grams of sodium chloride, I'll put the 58.443 grams of sodium chloride on the bottom and the one mole of sodium chloride on the top. I will multiply everything on the top and I'll divide by everything on the bottom. So that would be 43.2 times one divided by 58.443. That gives me the number 0 uh, 
seven, three, nine. I'm gonna go ahead and just keep three decimals here. This one doesn't make me round up, so that nine is safe. And I will say that that is my moles of sodium chloride. And I'll go ahead and I'll bring that over there and I'll let myself know that that is now my N. And I can go ahead and plug everything in since this is already isolated. So my N is that new number that we just found, so 0 0.739 moles. And I will be dividing it by the uh, liter, so it's provided. So that was 3.6 liters. And whenever I plug that into the calculator, 0 0.7, 0 0.739, divided by 3.6, I get the molarity of 0 0.20527778. I'll keep it at three decimals. Two doesn't make me round up. So that means my final box answer would be 0 0.205 molar. Remember moles per liter can be shortened to a capital M, and this is going to be of sodium chloride. I started my, my circle early. Okay, next problem says how many moles of sodium hydroxide? So I know that I do not know what my N is, are required to make a 0 0.3 molar solution. So my capital M is going to be 0 0.3 molar. And uh, I have 0 0.5 liters of water. Okay, I have everything that I need. I just need to go ahead and rearrange the initial equation. My molarity is equal to my moles of solute divided by liters of solvent. So moles divided by liters. I'm looking for moles though. So I'm gonna go ahead and get liters out from underneath moles and I'll multiply both sides by liters. That will cancel it over here, leaving me with N is equal to the molarity times the liters. Once I have that, I can go ahead and plug in everything that is here. So my molarity is going to be 0 0.3 molar, and I will multiply that by my volume, my liters. That is going to be 0 0.5 uh, liters. Remember that molarity or molar is secretly moles per liter, which means that liters will actually cancel leaving me with a unit of moles. So it does look like I isolated this properly. So 0 0.3 times 0 0.5 gives me 0 0.15, and that is moles, and then I know that this is of sodium hydroxide. Very last question is similar to one that we have already done, but it's a little bit easier. This one, I am provided moles Last time I had to calculate the molarity, I was given grams and I had to figure out what the moles were at first. So it says, what is the molarity of the solution containing? So I know that I am looking for my molarity. I do not know what that is. Uh, but it contains 7.5 moles of sodium nitrate. So I know that my N, my sodium nitrate, is going to be 7.5 moles and 4.5 liters of solvent, so I know that my liters of solvent is going to be equal to 4.5. Initial equation is already set up for me, so my moles of solute divided by liters of solvent, I have my moles here, so 7.5 moles divided by my liters of solvent is 4.5 liters. This will leave me with a unit of moles per liter, which is what capital M secretly is. So 7.5 divided by 4.5 gives me the number 1.66666666667. Lots of sixes. And I'll round it to three decimals, so one, two, three. Look over, six does in fact make me round up. So my final box answer would be 1.667. And then it is going to be in the unit molar. Also, you could say moles per liters. Remember, they're the exact same thing. And then I'll specify of what kind of solute. So that is going to be sodium nitrate.